Around the world, communities have begun harnessing the power of nature as a cost-effective and sustainable way to adapt to climate change and support their livelihoods. Nature-based solutions are actions to protect, manage, or restore natural ecosystems, like restoring mangroves for storm surge protection, or developing a park designed to reduce city flooding. But despite the huge potential, financing for nature-based solutions is only gradually increasing. Now, the World Bank and the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery, GFDRR, are scaling up support to enable further integration of nature-based solutions and inspiring governments, communities, and investors to work with nature to better solve our climate challenges. Unlike gray infrastructure, nature-based solutions provide multiple benefits at the same time. But one of the barriers to unlocking more financing is that valuing and communicating these benefits is sometimes challenging. Let's look at an example. First is the action. A country decides to invest in coastal wetland restoration, aiming at reducing flood risk. This leads to impacts on the biophysical processes, which means storm surges and wave energy are reduced by the restored vegetation. This improves the provision of ecosystem services, a significant reduction in flood levels and an increase in the fish stock increasing the benefits to the people, less damage to assets and less business interruptions, but also an increase in fishing revenue and new opportunities for recreation. Identifying and assessing the wide range of benefits and beneficiaries is a powerful way to help communities, policymakers, and the private sector make informed decisions to invest more in nature-based solutions. Let's work together with nature to make our communities more resilient to climate change. These guidelines are now available for download at naturebasedsolutions.org.